everyone and welcome to another installment of my Bratz Collection video series where I showcase all of the Bratz in my collection in smaller videos so you guys can meet each of them and hear stories about them. If you don't like it when people talk a lot about their dolls, I'm sorry this video probably isn't for you, but I'm very passionate about my Bratz dolls especially and you're going to meet some very, very special ladies in this video and I might cry because there's some stories with these Sasha dolls. So today I'm going to be showing my Sasha's. Um, when I was growing up, Sasha was my second favorite doll from the Bratz pack, if you will, because I've always loved African American dolls and I to this day think she's the prettiest character probably. And I still love Sasha just as much today as an adult. She's harder to find definitely secondhand, so a lot of my Sasha's are actually um, ones that I track down in stores or on websites like Amazon or eBay. So that's kind of a bit um, unusual compared to some of my other doll collections. To use my videos for identification, I recommend checking out my Flickr because I have pictures and facial close-ups and pictures of all their outfits. Of anything you see in this video, basically it's on my Flickr. I'll link my Flickr down below. And without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to all of my dollies. This is a quick pan of all the Sasha dolls. So, this is technically not first edition Sasha. She is a re-release, the 2005 Bratz Collector's Edition 4-pack. The dolls are identical. The only difference in the way to tell them apart is that the re-releases have these holes punched in their shoes for the runway because after 2003 when the formal funk Super Style and Runway Disco came out, MGA started punching holes in all the shoes. So you can see here these ones don't have it. Um, but the dolls themselves and the outfits are all the same and I was so excited when I was 13 years old and I was in Target and I was with my dad and I saw this big four pack and I had missed out on the first edition Bratz dolls because I got into them a little bit later so seeing them in the store was like a dream come true and I remember when my dad came back in the aisle and he asked me if there was anything I wanted and he saw the big pack of Brad dolls. He knew that I would really like them and he offered to buy them for me and I was like floored because that was an expensive set and like it wasn't a special occasion. Brad dolls are just really special to me for that reason because my dad was always so willing to get them for me and this set reminds me so much of him and you know he's not here anymore so I love having dolls like this that remind me of him. And we have my Expressit dolls. So this was my childhood Expressit Sasha. Um, I got her for Christmas 2002. I really wanted to have the Sasha Jade and Megan that went to my very first Yasmin doll. And I played with her all the time. Oh, and Dad called her Sausage. Yeah, my dad's like pet name for Sasha was Sausage. <laughs> so this one I got as an adult um, in 2011 from Craigslist One. It was a huge lot of like 70 dolls from Craigslist that my dad got me as an early Christmas present. And that's what really made my Bratz collection big. Like if you're wondering how I got so many Bratz dolls, it's because I absorbed a bunch of other people's entire collections in my, into my own and I caught a lot of really good sales at stores. And then I got this lady from eBay. She was in a lot with my girls' night out, Sasha, who you'll meet in a few minutes. What's cool about her is she's kind of like a factory defect doll. She's got like painted nails, like the Funkin' Glow. And I've seen this happen before on other Funkin' Glow dolls. And she has like wavy hair because whoever had her before had like braided it and it stayed wavy after I bowl washed it. Really pretty. She's my second favorite because she's so pretty. This lady is from eBay as well. She's from the New Year's Celebration Yasmin lot of 2014. I got her in 2013 her in 2014 and I bought that lot because I wanted New Year's Celebration Yasmin, Formal Funk Chloe, and Wintertime Wonderland Sasha and she was just and a bonus clothes. and of course the clothes because I hoard doll clothes and then this lady here is um, from the Sweetheart Dana lot. I got her at my flea market in 2014. Then we have my two flaunted Sashas. So this one right here is really special. Uh, she was one of the oldest Bratz dolls in my adult collection. I got her at a yard sale during the summer of 2011 my dad took us out yard sailing that day and someone had a bunch of Bratz dolls and I got her with my um, first edition Dylan and Cameron and a boxed Express at Yasmin. A few years later in 2014 from the sweetheart Dana La, I can tell them apart like, like that. Strutted Sasha who is I believe the newest addition to my Sasha family. I have wanted this doll since I got into collecting dolls again as an adult. And then I got her clothes on eBay with my um, 
girls' night out and this Express at Sasha doll, which made me want her even more, but I could never find her. And finally, this past year in 2017, I got her. She was just sitting on a table. She was overpriced. She was like $4 and she was in the wrong outfit, but I had to get her. She is the white whale, as Colin called her, the one that kept eluding us. She is finally mine. Gorgeous. Then we have, um, oh dear God, I hope I don't cry. <laughs> um, these are my two slumber party Sasha dolls from 2003. Um, this is my favorite Sasha doll in my whole collection. It was the last doll my dad ever bought me when he was alive. In March of 2012, um, we went to get a lot of dolls off Craigslist. They were all boxed that we knew of. And when we went to look at the dolls, the guy said he had some Woo Spratz dolls that he would like, you know, add on for a discounted price. And so he pulled out from this container um, Sasha and Genie Magic Chloe, and my dad said, the way he always described that situation was my face lit up when I saw this Sasha doll. I just, I don't know, there's something about like loose dolls that I'm more attracted to than dolls in boxes, and she was my favorite doll that I got that day, and he would tell that story all the time, and about how excited I was about the like not brand new doll. So when I look at this Sasha, I think of my dad, and that was the last day he was home. He ended up going to the hospital and not coming back after that. She just brings back a lot of good memories, and she's just one of my most special brat dolls. And then her twinny twin is from 2012. I got her for like, I think 50 cents naked. She's from a flea market. And then we have my two stylet Sashas. I got her um, in 2012. Uh, she was in the wrong outfit, I think, when I got her, but I knew who she was because of this curly hair. I got her from the same lady as my very first secondhand Bratz dolls. And then not long after, I got this lady. She was boxed, so they're wearing the box dolls clothes. Because as I've mentioned in other videos, I like to buy box dolls to dress my grubby flea market rescues. Mm -hmm. Because that totally makes sense, right? I have two Wintertime Wonderland Sasha dolls. So this one has butchered hair, as you can see. I've evened it out. So she was from the Bratz guy lot of 2011. One of the first Bratz dolls I got secondhand was from this guy, my World Twins in Vea. He had a huge box of Bratz dolls, and like nowadays I would have just bought the box right on the spot, but at the time I was just getting back into dolls, and I don't know, I was trying to be like really, you know, like particular and keep my collection pruned. Yeah, that worked out. Anyway, <laughs> so I passed up the box. I regretted it the same day, and we looked for him the entire summer, and then like a few months later, that fall, like September, October, the guy showed up again, with his dolls, they were mostly bought, but she was one of the ones I saved, and I knew she had cut hair, and my plan had been that, like, once I got a nicer one, I would use her as a body donor because her hair was really, really bad, but I couldn't do it because I had to do that with one of my stylet jades, and I cried when I had to throw her. I cried. I know, it's sad. I legitimately cried, so I couldn't part with her, so but I... But stylet jade was, like, cut up to the scalp. Yeah, stylet jade had... Uh, cut chunks up to the scalp, but I was able to fix her haircut, so she's really special. And then I got her on eBay from the New Year's Celebrat and Yasmin Lot, and I wanted her, um, A, because she didn't have cut hair, and B, because she had clothes that would dress this doll. <laughs> so then we have my four formal funk Sasha's. Kind of funny, because these were supposedly limited edition. This was my first one. I got her naked for 50 cents in 2011. She was one of my first Bratz dolls that I got secondhand. I was really excited. I knew who she was, and I wanted more formal funk dolls to go with my childhood runway. Um, and I had seen her at the same flea market, actually, not long after. She was in a baggie with a little... Bratz Slumber Party Yasmin doll, and I had thought about getting them, but I decided not to, and I regretted it. And then a year later, after my dad had passed away, Colleen and I saw this same doll in the same bag, with the same little Bratz, from a different seller at a different flea market. And that's because um, flea market sellers trade stuff a lot of the time and do swaps. So then we have this one. She's really cool um, and special because my cousin's now fiance um, gave me all of her childhood Bratz dolls the same summer we lost dad because she knew how much I loved brats. Like all her clothes and stuff. And then this is Kylie, my fourth and final formal funk Sasha. I got her naked for 50 cents. I'm pretty sure I got her with this doll. And I just really love her. Then we have Sunkiss Summer Sasha and Flashback Fever Sasha. Both of these guys are from Craigslist 1. I was beyond excited to get Sasha dolls, especially because they had parts of their clothes. 
and they're so beautiful, both of them. Then we have Tokyo Agogo Sasha. She's probably my favorite Tokyo Agogo doll aesthetically. I got her from eBay. So there was this lady that had, um, was trying to sell off her childhood Bratz dolls and they were in perfect condition and she wasn't having any luck selling them off and then when I went and bought like four of them from her she gave me a deal on the shipping and she was like so excited and happy that they were going to a good home and that made me feel good to like take in someone else's childhood dolls and you could tell they were really well cared for and loved so I like her extra because of that and then Girls Night Out Sasha like I said I got her and a lot on eBay with my Express It Sasha you saw earlier and she is so sultry and sassy and she has like all her outfits. So Treasure Sasha is another one that I got from that same woman that I got Tokyo Sasha from. I got oh, her fun Sasha. fact, the other two dolls that we bought from the same seller weren't Sasha's. They were dolls that she already had but these had better clothes and she was again getting nicer clothes to dress <laughs> scruffy dukes. Yes. But um, I really love the Treasures line, and I hadn't, I didn't have any Treasures dolls at the time, so. Childhood cheerleading, sports cheerleading Sasha. And I tried at the time as a kid to only have like one of each character, but it didn't really work out. And I think she might have been the last Bratz doll I got in stores as a kid. And I actually thought about getting rid of her right before I got back into collecting dolls, and I'm really glad I didn't, because I remember picking this doll out at Target, and she is so pretty. I didn't play with her as much because I got her later on, but I'm so glad I still have her. She's very important to me. Then we have Feeling Pretty Sasha. I got her at the flea market in 2012. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but she has quite a bit of damage. Uh, like an animal got a hold of her, so she has chew marks and stuff. But I love her anyways. Pampered Pup Sasha. She was in one of my more recent videos. I got her um, from some regular sellers at the flea market. She's super cool. Cowgirl Sasha from 2009. She, I found her at my flea market for like, I think seven or eight dollars box. And the thing I remember most about this doll was that she was an unwanted Christmas gift because there was still Christmas themed wrapping paper taped to her box and it broke my heart that no one wanted this doll. So I give her extra love for that reason. Then we have Party Sasha and um, Rock Sasha. These are two of my most special Sasha dolls because these were from my dad when I first got back into collecting. So I got Party Yasmin on sale at Walmart for like seven bucks and I ended up falling in love with her. I didn't know how nice those dolls would be and they have like saran hair and extra clothes. So when I saw them on sale at Toys R Us, like not long after, my dad let me get Sasha and Jade and I was so excited. And then um, this was one of my last Christmas gifts from my dad. We couldn't find Party Chloe. We were trying to track her down around Christmas, um, but we couldn't, so he bought me, because I'm spoiled rotten, he got me the Rock line and the Wild Wild West line, um, because he wanted me to have something, <laughs> and he had to do Overkill, of course, and we didn't have money for that at the time, so it was really, really nice of him, and, you know, I'll always cherish this doll forever. Sleepover Sasha from 2011. I just really liked this doll, so I bought her at Toys R Us for no particular reason other than the fact. I think she was on sale. No, she wasn't. I bought her with on sale dolls, but she wasn't on sale. Oh. Because I have a shopping problem. <laughs> then we have Cat Sasha. She was on sale. I got her and Chloe at Toys R Us for like half off um, because I just love this line. It's my favorite Bratz commercial. And look at this doll. She looks like a black and white cat, and that's my favorite color scheme on kitties like oh she's so cute and then we have my two on the mic girls i got them both at toys r us on sale for half off at different times i think this was my first one feather rage is sasha i got her from toys r us's website when she was on sale because i got um jade and chloe on sale at walmart found out they had beautiful saran hair like look at that and of course I had to finish the line off because I do like to complete black brass lines. That's actually one of the few types of dolls that I really like to complete the lines on. Speaking of completing lines, Boutique Sasha, I got her on Halloween night 2013, uh, 2012, sorry. Calling I plotted getting these dolls because we knew that Toys R Us would run a buy one get one half off sale and we wanted the boutique dolls. I have a very strong connection to these dolls. I'll talk more about it in my Yasmin video. Um, I got her and my totally tattooed Sasha and 
my boutique Chloe and my masquerade Odelia that night. Kong and I each grabbed like two dolls and totally tattooed Sasha, who I just talked about. I got her for seven bucks because she was half off and she has saran hair and she is so beautiful. I still think she's one of the prettiest Sashas in my collection. Speaking of on sale Sashas, I got Strutted Sasha for four dollars at Walmart right after Christmas 2012 and I got her just because she was so cheap and she's a brat doll and then I realized how nice she was and that's why I later on got the line. Little Miss Crystalicious Sasha, shamelessly I bought her on Toys R Us for full price from their website because I really liked her and this doll I love to smell her she makes me get really giddy because she smells so like delicious chic mystique Sasha. I got her on sale at Toys R Us. Um, she made me really love the Chic Mystique line. I saw someone's pictures of her and I was like, how do I not have these dolls? And then I went out to Toys R Us and I bought her. This was my very first hair piece I made for my dolls. I had bought these fabric flowers uh, not long before and then I happened to get Sasha not long after and I looked at Sasha and I looked at the flowers and that's how I got into making hair accessories. And this is Fashion Stylist Bratz Pack Sasha. I love dolls in packs, especially Bratz dolls because they're not usually in packs. And she is probably my favorite one from the set she's so beautiful. And Sasha got her at Walmart on sale for really cheap just because she's Sasha and she was on sale and she has cool red hair. Need I say more? <laughs> and this is where we get really bad. <laughs> um, so this was my very first Tall Bratz, technically speaking. I wanted her for my birthday in 2013. It took me a while to warm up to these dolls because they came out with the Tall Bratz like a few months after my dad died, like within the same year, and I really didn't want them to change because I had enough happening in my life at the time. And once I kind of realized why I was so against the Tall Bratz, I realized it was a stupid reason and so I got like crazy addicted and I bought her um, from the Little Tykes website. She was on some kind of sale, I think, and there was some shipping offer, and I bought a bunch of fashion packs, so that was my excuse for buying her. She's definitely the most unique-looking Sea Stunner doll. Then we have In the Wild Sasha, who was my first uh, Tall Bratz I got in person. I found her on sale at Marshall's, and then I got my Sea Stunner Jaden. Yeah, that's the same day. So she's really cool, and she's special to me for that reason. And then we have Totally Polished Sasha. Got her on sale at Target. I was just stocking these dolls when they were on sale because I needed them all in my life and I needed them all in my life as soon as I could get them. And she's probably my favorite from this line because she is so beautiful. Neon Runway Sasha, one of my favorites. Um, this doll was like, came out in 2013, not 2012 with the rest of the line because I don't think MGA was planning on releasing her and then they ended up producing her and sending her to places like Big Lots later so I got her for like nine dollars and the second I found out that this doll had actually been sold in stores and um, I caught wind of it we went out to Big Lots of that day and we got her express it Sasha I got her on sale at Walmart for like nine bucks and I got her the same day as the white shelves that she actually is displayed on and what's cool about her is I made her all this bling and this necklace this is actually a piece from a button jar that my mom had when I was a kid. And I made this necklace for my Laguna doll, but then um, Colleen said it would match Sasha's outfit better, so she got it. And then she also robbed some of the charms off of Laguna's earrings, but Laguna's gotten like three pairs of earrings since, so don't feel bad for her. The basic core Sasha from 2013, I got her on Amazon. Um, when I got my Moxie Girls Best Friends dolls because she was like really cheap. She was like nine bucks and there was some shipping offer. I never saw her in stores. I only Can saw we get the other your ones. fantasy hair dolls? Yeah, and I got the best yep. friend. I really hit up Amazon that day. That fashion Sasha on eBay. She was not a good deal. She was like thirty dollars. <laughs> but I couldn't find her at stores by the time I decided I wanted her and I needed to have her and I need to have her now. <laughs> and then we have my selfie snap Sasha. From 2015, I went out the day Bratz relaunched and I got the selfie snaps line. And the reason for that is because Bratz dolls were really special between me and my dad. And anytime there was like something new that came out or something I wanted, he always helped me look for it. And I know if he was alive when these dolls came out, he would have taken me out that day to get some of them and so Colleen and I did it kind of in his memory and because Bratz had been off shelves for so long but I'm usually not the person to go out and get the new thing um, that's not really my uh, my style I'm usually one to wait for things to go on sale but it was really worth it and I've seen these dolls be as cheap as like two dollars at Walmart but I have no regrets um, 
because we did it for my dad. And then we have sleepover party Sasha. I got her for my birthday that same year that these guys came out. She wasn't on sale. Um, you can see these pizza earrings I made. My first time making Sculpey clay earrings for my dolls. I think they came out pretty cute. The reason why I picked out her is because of my 03 slumber party Sasha because this is like the re remake version and um, kind of like as a little tribute to my dad and I told myself that I would only allow myself to get like this line brand new for full price and her and I stuck to that I was very good I waited till everything else went on sale because I have a shopping problem then I got hello my name is five pack Sasha I got her um, from Toys R Us's website on sale with free shipping because I wanted Megan and I thought like bonus I get all the other dolls and I don't have to wait for them to go on sale individually and I got study abroad Sasha and the Biffle Hashtag BFFL pack and the Metallic Madness pack, Sasha. They're all from Toys R Us's um, sales that they had in like the fall of 2015 and the winter of 2016. So I got these two for like 70% off and I got her for 50% off. That's why I waited because I was able to get more and I bought like a ton of fashion packs and stuff. So if you wait to catch things on sale, you can get more. I love them all, um, especially I love this Sasha. She's got blue in her hair and I like her outfit. It reminds me of like a nutcracker. This doll is gorgeous. Sasha's, uh, the Biffle Sasha's crazy earrings are really interesting. Oh, I know. These are, these are awesome. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed meeting my Sasha dolls. Um, I love these guys very much. And like I said, if you want to see pictures of them or read about them, I'll leave the link to my Flickr down below. And stay tuned for more of these Bratz Collection videos. And until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.